listening viewers, I want to tell you the danger of these entertaining pastors. I want to tell you the danger of these churches. Especially when they using anointing oil. Especially when they're using water on your children. You find a pastor, he'll go get a bottle of some holy water, a whole bunch of those containers. Before you get ready to come to church for that Sunday, you got all those little bottles that he has. That all that water is filled. That when he goes in the bathroom, he's using toilet water. The danger of these pastors putting this holy water on your child. come to church brothers there's a tying offering there's a regular offering there's a holy communion then after a while he's not done because he says well the Lord told me that he needs the church to be lit. And anyone got a thousand dollars for the church, the Lord's gonna take care of them. He's gonna he's gonna bless it. He's gonna send this blessing to a greater blessing. Let me tell you, sisters and brothers, the danger. Of these pastors, the danger of these churches. James chapter 2. I'm going to go. Chapter 2, verse 1. My brothers and sisters and believers in our glorious Lord, Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. Now, suppose. A man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and a poor man in 50 clothes come in. You show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes. See, these pastors, they don't pay any attention. As long as you give your hard earnings, they pay no attention to the poor. He says, well, sit there in the seat right here. And another man comes in with fine clothes. He offered him, well, come over here, sit in the uppermost seat in God's house. And don't show no special attention to the poor man that comes into your church with filthy clothes. Has the pastor dishonored the poor? Has not God choose the poor to be rich in his eyes? So, any time now that you should check your wallet He's telling you, well, Lord's going to take care of you. Anyone can help us right now. The Lord's going to take care of you. And you are sitting, digging into your pocket. And you give the pastor your last thousand dollars. And 
And now he back into that limo car. You ready to eat a fine steak? While you sitting at the house with your wife eating the beans and cornbread. While he's making your wallet thinner and thinner. So, church today offers you eternal tea. But I say you must go down to this earth and experience much you can before you leave. They offer you the life and death. And they offer you starvation. After the resurrection. But today the resurrection clearly says that we as a mentally dead people will be raised from the dead on the day of that resurrection. And the day of resurrection is already here, sisters and brothers. You has been awake from what you have been taught. Now you see what's going on. So now there was a time you was this loss but God came to renew you again come out of her Jesus says beware of these false prophets and false teachings So today, these entertainers today are the new Antichrist. And see, these entertainers today, they need a stadium. Like the TD Jakes, he can't go nowhere. So he gets paid every time he got a stadium there's $50,000 waiting and that's not even the tickets and that's not even the ties so by the time he leaves that's $70,000 These entertainers today are well taken care of. So the private jets they have. The nice cars, clothes. And see, God said, man that don't work man don't eat you see how about you can tell this pastor I think it's time that you get up like everybody else get a job 
because he's taking your hard earned. You just that poor, dirty man in the church with those filthy clothes. He's telling you, well, God's going to take care of this. Sit there. Have a fine seat. You outside. And you come in the church, it's below 20 degrees. Pastor can't offer you a jacket. He can't offer you no new clothes. When his job is to put new clothes on your back, feed you, take care of your wants, and instead, he can take from you. Tell you, well, don't worry about it. The Lord's going to take care of you. He's going to, he's going to bless you. Just don't worry about it. He supply all of our needs. These is your fake, phony entertainers. So I say, I leave with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I want to just say to you, may God bless you guys. And the grace of God be with your spirit.